It's another Reaction Thursday where we learn how to anticipate and react faster in the game. Learn how to react faster in the game and they'll know we ain't the same. Go gang! Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's another reaction Thursday for you guys today. Today, we want to learn how to tackle on youth football. This is the basics. It's for any guy beginning to play football, whether it's high school, low league, heck, even if you're playing college, this is what you need to learn the basics and to learn how to tackle. So first and foremost, let's make sure we have a great base. You want to have your feet shoulder width apart, a little bit wider if, you, if that brings more comfort to you. Uh, you don't want your feet to be narrow because you can't derive any power from this base and having this base allows you to derive power with your hips and really drive into that tackle. Second, you wanna be able to understand initiating contact. Uh, a lot of times people that are beginners don't really understand how to initiate contact and they end up getting hurt or they have faulty coaching where it's like, oh, well, that coach don't even know how to really teach it. But you wanna initiate contact by leading with your shoulder. You don't want to turn your whole body don't do that i did that my first year of football my coaches made fun of me they didn't help me but you want to be square to your tackle so when you're going into a tackle you want to leave with your shoulder but you want to be square you don't want to you don't want to turn your body you don't want to try to lead with something else so make sure you're square and you're tackling move your head in front of the body you don't want to jam your neck and hurt your neck Next point, the wrap up. You want to be able to wrap up your your opponent. You want to be able to wrap them up and drop them to the ground, which is the last point. Uh, once you wrap up, you want to wrap up tight and drive them to the ground. Take them to the ground. You don't want to just wrap up and then be holding them up. Like I see coaches teach that drill, and I, I kind it kind of annoys me because it's like okay, it, it keeps running back safe, but realistically, like that's not how tackles happen in the game. Like you're you're going to get your tackles broke. And on, at the same time, you're not taking a guy down. So you want to make sure you're taking them and driving them to the ground. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me? <laughs> 